So when your baby is breastfeeding, the milk that they receive in the beginning of the feed is called fore milk, and then the milk that they receive towards the end of the feed is called hind milk. And there is a misconception that the, the milk ducts produce two different types of milk because typically, not always, the hind milk has a higher fat content and the foremilk is more watery. And so that makes some people think that, again, there's two types of milk that is produced, but it's not, there's just one. But the reason why the, the foremilk and the hind milk can have a slightly different composition is this. So when milk is made, fat sticks to the sides of the, the milk making cells and the watery part of the milk, it moves down into the nipple where it mixes or towards the nipple where it mixes with any milk that was left over from the, the previous feeding that your child had. And so the longer you go between feeds, the more watery, diluted that that leftover milk becomes. And usually this, the more kind of like diluted milk, it has a higher lactose content and less fat than the milk that is being stored in the milk making cells higher up in your breast, which is becoming more fatty. And this lactose has a lot of benefits. Um, it helps brain nerve tissue development. It supports your baby's growth, gives them the energy to learn all these new things. And so after your, your baby drains this more watery for milk, then the nipples start pulling down and releasing that more fatty hind milk. And so your, your baby gets a balance of the, the two types of milk. But again, the, the milk ducts are only producing one kind of milk, but the milk that is staying up in those milk ducts longer is getting more fat attached to it, which is why it's a little bit fattier when it comes to the end of the feed. Mm -hmm.